the five buckets, which is law number one, um, was an observation I'd had on my on my own life. And people always ask me, if you're young or if you're not, or if you're you know moving into a new industry, where should you focus? In fact, one of your colleagues asked me out there. The way that I look at it is there's these five buckets in our lives that we have to fill. And the story that I tell was one of my friends in San Francisco had a man running up to him. This man was sweating, um, a little bit um, out of breath and said to him, about building rockets and doing these chips and monkeys brains and all this stuff then this man ran off then my friend said to me when i was in san francisco he goes that man was elon musk and interestingly until he said that man was elon musk i thought it was someone that had escaped from an asylum or something but the minute you hear that it's elon musk you hear that this is an individual with five full buckets in life we have these five buckets right the first bucket is our knowledge which is what we know when we apply what we know it becomes a skill Right? And these first two buckets, your knowledge and your skills, are the only buckets in your life that can ne- no professional earthquake can ever unfill. They're also the buckets that overflow to fill these last three buckets, which is your network, your resources, and your reputation. When you have knowledge and skills, you'll undoubtedly build a network that will lead to, um, to resources and finally reputation. Life can take away these last three buckets, but if you're a young person, the key takeaway here is when you're selecting that job, like I was at 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, don't select for reputation a nice jobs title don't even select for resources get getting paid more focus on jobs that will fill these first two buckets which is knowledge and skills and for me that meant spending four years working in call centers which still today i i cite as being the single most important professional experience i ever had i spent four years picking up a phone and speaking to people about double glazing or artificial grass or conservatories or car insurance and that, that skill of sales and communication has, has then translated to raising hundreds of millions in investment, to building businesses, to hiring thousands of people, um, having a podcast. And so it's just a frame to think through, which I think will, will, will set you up better for life.